where do you please specify exactly where you guys stand on uh, gun control? Well, I mean, our party is essentially anti-gun violence, and and by the, and we we know that the state, the government uses uh, guns to control people. I mean, every law that you pass uh, is a, a threat of force, and those that force is backed by firearms, by guns. You know, the police, the, the enforcement arm of the government. I mean, laws aren't suggestions, they're mandatory, and we obey them uh, because we unconsciously, implicitly know that if we disobey and obstinately disobey, someone with a gun will come, and they will use that gun if uh, they don't get compliance. So this idea of comply or die is terrible. It's a terrible way to organize society. And so our gun control is uh, essentially we want to control the guns of the state and we want, to, want, want them to put it down. Now that means you don't point guns at, at peaceful people owning guns. Owning a firearm is not an act of violence. It is a right. I mean, you have a right to own property. And if you buy a gun or you want to own a gun, you should have that right. Um, and I mean, you know, I'm not, I'm not that afraid of gun ownership. I mean, I know for a fact that lawful gun owners, peaceful gun owners, uh, actually commit fewer crimes than police officers do. So they're among the most peaceful people in society. And so, yes, uh, we need to look at ways of getting guns out of the hands of criminals, but that, that we shouldn't be punishing and oppressing peaceful gun owners for that. And I mean, I grew up on a farm in northern Alberta. Look, if my, a gun wasn't even a right, it was a necessity on a farm. We had bears coming up onto our front porch eating dog food. And so if my dad didn't have a gun, we were in danger. So a gun is a, is a tool, it's a useful tool, especially in rural Alberta. And people should have the right to defend themselves. Uh, you know, we have to decentralize power, and that means that allowing people to, to use firearms to defend themselves if necessary. Okay, let's stay on that topic then, uh, using arms to defend themselves. So um, I'm thinking of, a, of a, a parent staying, you know, it, being at home and there's a home intruder. Yeah. Uh, you know, ter terrible visualiz or visualiz or visualization, sorry, but uh, it could happen. A home intruder. As it stands right now, we, uh, we really don't have the rights to protect our home and our children from, these, uh, from people who br break into our homes and want to do us harm. Um, you guys, uh, you guys have a different idea of that as well. Well, yeah, I mean, we, we're fans of the Castle Doctrine that you ought to be able to defend your home. Um, and, you know, police are great and they're there to protect us, but they're not going to be there in time to protect us. And, uh, you know, the, the only thing that stops a bad guy, a motivated bad guy with the gun is a good guy with the gun. You know, I, yeah, you know, these home invasions and, and break-ins and, and violence aren't as rare occurrences as people think. And uh, I, I want families to be able to protect themselves the way they see fit. Yeah, um, I agree. I, you know, I, I think a parent should have the right to defend his child Absolutely. as a parent.